Divers Discover an Abandoned Underwater Strip Club Urban exploration is easily my favorite trend on the internet. Photographers from all over the world have taken to their own backyards and wandered the abandoned buildings in towns nearby. It's easy to see why these abandoned buildings have become the scene in front of the camera, because they're not only beautiful, but incredibly mysterious. They captivate our imaginations and take us on a journey through history. One marine biologist had no idea he would be the center of this new trend. Koplovitz was diving towards the end of a long dock that led out into the ocean. He thought nothing of it until he was underwater and noticed it led to a huge structure. He peered in the windows and couldn't believe what was inside. His photos, taken through the windows of a rusted destination, showed a glossy, pristine interior, and though the cables and chairs have been removed, the stripper's pole remains. When he peered into the windows of the rusty underwater building, he noticed what looked like a dance club or restaurant of sorts. He then noticed a stage as well as a stripper pole and immediately knew that what he found is probably the only underwater strip club in the world. He did a little research on the building and found out that it used to be an underwater restaurant. The restaurant closed and it was turned into a strip club. You walk to the end of the pier where well, you'll find a long door leading to a staircase. As soon as you walk down the staircase, you'll be at the front door of the underwater club. The strip club was aptly named Nympha's Show Bar. Although empty and abandoned, the underwater club still has dancer poles connected to the ceiling. Koplovitz isn't sure exactly when the defunct strip club closed its sores. Talk about a rare underwater find. We only know about 10% of what's on our ocean floors and on that list is an actual strip club. Nobody's completely sure when or why this strip club was shut down, but this is all in a day's work for a marine biologist. He was there to study the sea life in that area and ended up finding something far more captivating that day.